Welcome to Inside Digital Photo TV, coming to you live from the PDN Photo Plus Conference and Expo here in beautiful New York City, New York. And the Inside Digital Photo TV program is brought to you by Epson. You can find out more information at proimaging.epson.com. Right now, we have a very special guest with us. We have Rich Pulaski. He is the product manager for digital SLRs at Olympus, and they got a brand new, very cool camera, the E3. Hey, Rich, how you doing? Very good, Scott. How are you today? Good. Now, tell me about the E3. One feature I want to talk about is the blazing fast, super cool autofocus. Tell me about this. Well, that, in fact, is you know the big story with this camera. We are claiming the world's fastest autofocus in digital SLR as of fall 2007 with our new 12 to 60 SWD lens. Um, SWD stands for supersonic wave drive motor technology, which is built into this lens. And it is, I'd say, you know, half of the equation that allows us to achieve this fast autofocus speed. We have a completely new autofocus system inside the body as well, too. It's a fully uh, newly designed 11-point biaxial AF system, and it allows us to achieve uh, the fastest autofocus speeds in the industry presently. Yeah, when I played with you the other day, it's, it's amazing. It's like it's autofocus before you even think about it. It's just like, bang, it's there. It's very cool. It's milliseconds to get the first release. And with this, this level of product in this category, it has to be fast. It has to have fast autofocus. It has to be fast to turn on. It has to have fast frame rate, which this camera does. It's five frames per second. Yeah, this is cool stuff. Now, my buddy here, Dan, Dan Havlick from PDN. Dan, you had some cool stuff we're going to talk to Rich about, too. Yeah, I want to find out about more about the LCD screen, fully articulating. What's the benefit of that for photographers? Well, live view can be, can be uh, executed with the LCD panel, you know, just flat into the back of the camera, and that's great. But to have it movable, I mean, it really facilitates a lot of the photographic possibilities. It's much easier to take shots, you know, from low angles, uh, studio, you know, keeping eye contact with my, with my subject and just, you know, wrapping it off with a cable release. Are you surprised that some of your competitors have not added this articulating feature? They have live view, but uh, it's a stationary LCD. Well, we're, you know, we're the pioneers with the live view technology, you know, so we have a little bit of a head start on them. So, you know, we're taking it, again, you know, continuing to improve it, take it to different levels. So they're kind of playing catch up with us a little bit in that regard. Speaking of that, talk about some other features that you've pioneered with Olympus cameras that are now on this dust reduction. Our dust reduction system, we were the first in the industry. We still have the only system that actually works um, every time without fail. And that's a great benefit for the photographer. I mean, you don't have to worry about shooting in a, in a difficult environment and, you know, and having to do all this, this post-processing and retouching on the image. We've also, uh, starting with our E510, we have image stabilization built into the body, chip a image stabilization, which, which again is a... Another attribute of reliability, actually. And we've done it a little differently than some of uh, the other brands out there. We've actually used supersonic wave drive motor technology to actually move the chip inside the camera. That's faster, it's more precise, and the proof is in the pudding. We, this camera, we claim up to five EVs of uh, shutter speed compensation. And you can use that with any lens because it's built right into the camera, correct? Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. That is uh, part of the beauty of the system being inside the body. Every single lens that we produce is image stabilized, not just our real high-end glass. And the build of the camera, it's, it's a very robust build. It's designed for pros. What's, uh, what's it made out of the chassis? It's magnesium. It's using a new molding process, a uh, casting process, I should say, which allows for very intricate, uh, elegant, you know, form, um, thin casting, lightweight, extremely durable. Um, you can actually stand on the thing. And the camera's fully weather sealed as well. So it doesn't just have a robust, durable body from that point of view. It's, it's splash proof, it's dust proof. So it's really, it's ready to go anywhere, you know, the pro needs to take it to get the job done. I was playing with this at the launch event and I also really liked the, uh, the optical viewfinder and it very clear, it's got a little magnification. You can really see, uh, you know, what's, what's through the, uh, the lens. Huge difference from this product's predecessor, the E1. We now have a very nice magnification level with this viewfinder. It's a big, bright viewfinder. It's using new prism coating technologies, and it's 100% accurate, which is, again, necessary for this, this level of photography. Well, we're here with Rich Pelkowski of uh, Olympus talking about the new E3. Here also with Scott Shepard of Inside Digital Photo. I'm Dan Havlick from PDN Magazine. I'm going to turn it back to Scott.
Yeah, this is great stuff. You know, one thing I want to touch on here, Rich, is this uses the four-thirds lens mount system. So this is an open consortium with a bunch of manufacturers. Tell us about that, what offerings you have. And actually, other people can also take Olympus lenses and put this on anything that uses a four-thirds lens mount. That's correct. You know, presently, there are several manufacturers that are in the four-thirds consortium. Olympus, Panasonic, Sigma, Leica, and Fuji to a lesser extent. Uh, that, that allows us to have, again, open standards. Sigma is making lenses. I can put the Sigma lenses on this camera, interchange them with the, the, uh, the Panasonic Leica designs with full intercompatibility with no issues whatsoever. You know, we, our, our R&D department looked long and hard at what size chip we were going to use when we decided we were going to get back into interchangeable lens digital SLR. And we settled on the four-third standard. We feel that this is really a great balance between size and image quality. And I mean, of course, we have, you know, image quality is, is why, you know, you're taking a photograph with a high-end digital camera to begin with is to get a good, good quality image. And we feel that this is really a good balance. And you can really see it when you look at our long lenses and our telephoto lenses are much, much smaller than legacy designs that are based on 35 millimeter film. Definitely because the crop factor with the four-thirds mount and the way the chip size is, it's a two-to-one. So you can have an 800 millimeter lens that's not, three feet long and doesn't weigh 40 pounds. Yeah, and that's, it's a huge benefit. You know, at the wider focal lengths, the wide zoom lenses, there's not much of a difference from the 35 millimeter standard. When you go to the big glass, it's significant. We're not just talking three or four ounces. We're talking often three or four pounds, you know, five inches overall length. And when you're carrying these things around all day, and you're probably going to have two of them if you're out there as a working pro, it's, it's a great benefit to have something that's more lighter and compact. Yeah, no, this is great stuff. So where do we find more information on the E3? the new glass, all the stuff you guys wrote. OlympusAmerica.com. Hey, Rich, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Good stuff, huh, Dan? Yeah, very exciting. A lot of exciting digital SLRs in the show floor this year. Yeah, no, this is cool stuff. So like you said, go to OlympusUSA.com. You've been watching Inside Digital Photo TV. You can find out more information over at PDNOnline.com, over at InsideDigitalPhoto.com.